How do you share a Power BI report to an external guest? It should be relatively straightforward, but Microsoft have made it hard and there's a simple workaround that shouldn't be a workaround. So I'm gonna show you because ultimately you wanna be able to click share, click on specific people, click apply, and then put in an external guest's email address in there and send it to them, but it won't let you, okay? If I start typing in WHOP, that person doesn't exist on this tenant, so it won't let you. But there's a really easy workaround. I don't know why Microsoft have made this so hard. All right, let's go. So for this to work easily, there is one setting that the admin, the Power BI admin needs to enable. So if I go up to the little settings cog and down to admin portal, okay, and you search for external, okay, users can invite guests. You need to turn that on. So you could share it to the entire organization, that permission, or limit it to specific security groups. Um, so you can, can do it that way. I'll just say entire organization apply. Okay. So with that enabled, if I go back to my report and I try and share it, I actually had that setting on already. Okay. So the share report option doesn't work. It doesn't come up with the ability. Same thing if I wanted to add somebody as a, to the workspace, grant them workspace access, it doesn't work. So this is the weird little hack. You can either create a dashboard or an app, and then you can invite external users. That then allows you to then add them and share them, share a report with them. It doesn't make any sense, but I'll, I'll show you. So all I do, I'm gonna take this report here. Okay, I'm gonna pin it to a dashboard. So pin to a dashboard, uh, a new dashboard called, I don't know, external, that'll do, pin live. You don't even have to keep this dashboard, you can delete it in a minute. Okay, uh, go to dashboard. And then from this dashboard, I can click share. And here I can invite external guests. Okay, send an email notification. So I'm just gonna put in an email address from another account and click group. It just says some of the emails are outside of your org. That's fine, grant access. And an email will now be sent to that other account and I'll be able to get access. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. But, but check this out. If I now go into my guest users in 365, that user has now been added as a guest user. Okay, if I go into my Azure portal, okay, again, that user has been added as a guest user. So then if I simply go back to the report, okay, let me just go into the report and I share this, I go share, so exactly where I was before, specific people, don't allow them to share it, apply. I can then put in the guest user and send them a link. Doesn't make any sense that you have to do that dashboard bit first. I could go and delete that dashboard now. I could then potentially go into this workspace and go manage access, add people or group, enter name, There's the guest user, add them as a member. So you can do all these things, but you just have to share that way first. Now, the end user needs a pro license or a license of some sort if you're publishing from a F64 or above workspace. Um, if you need to assign them access, then you need the, or assign them a license, you could go into your Microsoft 365 admin portal and go to guest users and you click on them you get your IT people to do this if you haven't got access okay and down here you would need in this side panel to give them the right access so we'd come down here and you would just grant them whatever licensing you know that you need 
Power BI Pro, essentially. Now, I haven't got any extra licenses available here, so I can't do that. But you could give them an E5 license or whatever. Okay. So let me just show you what it looks like from the other person's point of view. I'll just bring up the... Somebody has shared this report with you. Again, because I'm Win Hopkins sharing it to Win Hopkins, it gets a bit confusing. But I can click open the report. And if I'm signed into my browser that I'm normally working on, first of all, I get this. I've got to accept the permissions. And then tenant switching goes on and it actually logs me in, but to the other tenant, the one I got invited into. So I can see the report. If I go workspaces, because I granted myself workspace access, I could go into the workspace and see all the reports in the workspace. Okay. And there's this report solution. So I've got, I've got access to everything. Um, and if I wanted to switch back, I could switch tenant to back to my own one, you know, my normal access analytic tenant. So yeah, you've just got tenant switching going on. So it's a really strange setup that you can't just share a report. Okay, if the other, the one other way, the sort of planned way of sharing is if you log, log into the Azure portal, so portal.azure.com, if you log in there and go to users, you can go new user, invite external user, and you can be a bit more formal about this. The user gets a slightly more formal looking email it still looks a bit dodgy, to be honest, like a phishing attempt. Um, let me show you what one looks like. Uh, okay. Not the most authentic looking email in the world, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but it then just signs you in the same way and you get all the same sort of access. So I guess this way it's a bit more planned. You can then add a license in advance before you invite someone. Um, but yeah, it's very strange setup. So there you go. How you share external access is create a um, dashboard first, or if you were simply creating an app, you can just create an app, update app, go to audience. And again, you're allowed to invite external guests via this box and share the app with them, which is probably a better way of doing it really. So there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Let me know if you've got any thoughts, comments, you've hit any issues, um, but this seems to be the approach. All right, thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. You might see a little link pop up. Um, hope you enjoy the channel. Like and subscribe. Check out becoming a member. Catch you in the next video.